In this video, I'm going to be taking you inside my head, showing you why I do what I do in a live CFM game of Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21 and one of the ways we accomplish that is through basically giving you guys tips and strategies every single day that you can use to help yourself become a better Madden player. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Um, it's completely free to subscribe and if you don't enjoy the content, you can always unsubscribe at a later time. All right, guys, so I have week one of my competitive CFM. If you guys are interested in joining the CFM, you can shoot me a text. My number will be in the top right-hand corner of your screen. But I'm playing my man, Kill Him 2012. He's the Rams. I am the Dallas Cowboys here. Um, and I actually had the fourth, I think the fourth or the fifth overall pick. And so I was able to get Patrick Mahomes. So I was really, really excited about that. I got some really good players. My, my team is basically, I have decent offense. I have a pretty good offense. And then on defense, I just straight up have speed everywhere. Like, um, my all my safeties and linebackers are just fast. They're not good. They're just fast. So uh, we're going to see how that goes here. But start off the gate here. Let's see if he's going to run some pistol. Um, and ends up trying to throw a little bubble screen up there. I think he accidentally lobbed that. Didn't get a good release on that. But I'm going to be using some different styles of defenses throughout the course of the CFM. I really, really enjoy the 4-6 defense. Now, again, if you haven't already gotten my Nickel 335 defensive ebook, you can get that defensive ebook in the description. It's the exact defense that I use pretty much exclusively right now, um, just because I think it's honestly just the best defense. It's, it's just simply put, um, it is a very, very good defense. There we got to stop and he is getting off the field early. Defense is able to get off the field, and my offense is going to be able to come back onto the field here and try to get some points. I have a very, very good offense. Um, I have some I have some, I have some, good linemen. I have a, a really good quarterback, so you know we should be good. We're running the gun bunch offense, so kind of built my team for that. I actually completely messed up with my controller there, but um, we have Mahomes, we have Hot Route Master, we have everything that we need to be successful, so we just need to go be successful. Uh, and, and so really, really excited to compete here and see what we can accomplish uh, in week one. Now, again, you're gonna see that I will run a lot of the uh, gun bunch. I'm gonna be running a lot of gun bunch. I'm gonna be running a lot of bunch tight end. I'm gonna be running a lot of, um, I'm gonna be running a lot of uh, trips tight end offset as well. But really early, we're gonna start with flood and see how that goes again i have Mahomes, and then i also have some pretty good wide receivers and tight ends i've got keenan allen i've got robbie anderson and then i've also got marlon mack in the backfield here so uh, we're going to see how it goes starting off here going to hit that nice little flat route to mark andrews get out and go early and i'm going to play fast early on here so again i'm running the gun bunch ebook if you haven't gotten the gun bunch ebook yet i would encourage you to get that and right here i'm going to throw a book right to my opponent early it's just a bad read um i thought he was in a i thought he was in his zone that he was not in and he ends up playing very very good defense able to get off the field early and had a great turnover um so i'm gonna have to lock up on defense here honestly i i mean, just a bad read nothing, nothing else you can say right there literally just a bad read you know it goes to show that ebooks are useful because they give you the plays that you need but they don't always um, at the end of the day, it always comes down to your ability to read and make throw the right guy open. Um, no money. There's no money plays necessarily. There's no you know unstoppable plays. I mean, every play can be stopped, but I think also every play is unstoppable as long as you make the right uh, the correct read. So uh, right here, I should have known he was going to go back to that run. That's kind of his go-to run here. It looks like his pistol pistol strong slot scheme here. So I might be going and I might shift into some. 4-4 uh, four, four defense in this situation I've got I've got some decently fast linebackers as well on this team I've got Tanner Muse with like 90 speed I've also got this 4-6 speed package that I could go to in certain situations and then obviously I have the big nickel over G uh, that I could go into if I need to so uh, real quick here it looks like he is going to go to that wildcat formation so I'm actually I actually am going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the free safety blitz here out of this and, and and try to try to put something together here i'm trying to spread my linebackers out uh wide here we're just going to blitz everybody straight down run right through the gap and that's why i like that four four in the red zone it does a really good job of stopping a lot of these 
um, little ticky tacky type of run plays that people will utilize and 4-4 uh, does a really good job it's just a good run defense it's just a good run defense so now he's in a situation third and goal ball is on the 10 yard line so he's got about 20 yards of space to be able to work with and I feel like I feel really really good um, with where we're going to be at defensively here. I feel like we have an opportunity to be able to get a stop we're going to go into some man coverage here um, and we're going to basically uh, essentially play you know uh hopefully lockdown man defense if i can get my guys to adjust i can't get my tight end there we go i got him manned up and he is going to run the ball inside and we're going to be able to just shoot that gap and just kind of contain that run with the 335 wide and my like I said, guys it's, the defense is so good the defense is so good um it's just a solid defense you know and i've actually thought about it like what if i would have built my team around defense how good this defense would be i mean this is i think my defensive overall in the cfm is literally like 70. Like my defense is a 70 overall team. So far they've been playing solid for me though. And we're gonna be able to get off the field and offense, give the offense another another chance. You know, uh, you gotta put you gotta put that stuff behind you. When you make a bad read, I bet you make a bad read and then move on. You have to be able to move on. Um, obviously you don't wanna forget anything. You don't wanna forget tendencies and things like that. But you definitely have to move on. When you make mistakes, you make mistakes. And that's part of Madden. You have to be able to move on from that. That's one of the things that I think separates the best of the best Madden players from players that are just average or just okay. Can you move on whenever you mess up? Okay? So he's running kind of the nickel normal pinch defense. I actually really like this uh, defense he's running. But you see here, we're going to get the ball out to Marlon Mack. He's one of the guys I'm looking to develop. He's got... Um, he's got some decent ratings right now, but I, I think that I can rank him up pretty quickly and, and potentially get a superstar out of that guy here. So uh, just going to step up into the pocket. Great job by Mahomes getting the ball out quick. And we're going to be able to move a little bit now. So uh, we're going to go to Jets Dig here. And let's see here. We're going to go ahead and leave that tight end hitch here. Now you notice my opponent is basically, I think he just basically went and got, you know, the best um, the best defense he could get. There, Mahomes did a good job checking it down to Mark Andrews. I'm going to have to be smart. I'm going to have to hang in the pocket a little bit. I gotta, I'm, I'm, I've got to rank up my other uh, player uh, soon to get this thing, get this thing rolling here, but he is running a lot of cover too, so we're going to go to this play right here. And he actually, I don't know what he did on I don't know if he made an adjustment or what on that coverage, but that was not cover two. I think he's run cover two about every time. Looks like he went to that cover nine, uh, show two. And maybe he is running some match defensive principles, some things like that. So we got to be, you know, ready for that. Uh, but right here, we're going to go to mesh. But we're going to run it kind of a, a little bit more of a Jets dig type of mesh here. But we're going to kind of keep that route there. And we're going to double team on this side on that one guy that we don't have the the numbers to be able to take care of him and we'll see here and i think i should have just left him in i think we did get that cover nine but we just didn't run it to the right side so anyways we're going to go back here and we're actually going to go to that same play this time again we're going to double team that guy that we don't have the ability to guard if he's in cover nine we should have an opportunity to hit this skinny post um, we'll see what happens here. But we'll get the tight end flat, wide open, get in the open field with Mark Andrews, put us in a good position. And I'll tell you what, one of the most important things that you can do as a bunch player, if you want to be a good, if you want to have a good gun bunch, you have to take your underneath reads. It is, it is absolutely vital that you turn that into about five. Like that throw right there is so important. If he's giving you the flat, you have to take it. You have to take the flats. If you take your flats out of gun bunch, you're going to be so much better off because you're going to be able to um, deal with it whenever they're starting to adjust because what's going to happen is they're going to have to over adjust. They're always going to have to honor the double flats of both sides. The ability to throw the quick flat out of the gun bunch is the most important thing that you can honestly do is that you can throw the quick flats. You can also be able to match protect in certain situations. And so it's really, really important as we go throughout this game that I do a good job of taking my flats absolutely critical uh, for my success here so gonna go to flood again here in this situation and I'm actually gonna go with a, a, a little bit of a different setup here we're gonna essentially have this right here and we're gonna try to hit that 
I did have the tight end open. We're going to let Mahomes get out of the pocket, scramble a little bit, get up field, and get us inside the red zone in scoring position. And now we're going to go to one of my favorite red zone passing plays. I absolutely love to play mesh post in the red zone. In my opinion, it's probably the best passing play in the red zone out of the gun bunch. A lot of different ways you can set it up, a lot of different ways you can draw it up. But the way we're going to draw it up right here is kind of the standard way, um, especially because of the way my opponent is playing. So you see there, there's the, there's the flip of the bunch. And then we're going to basically take Mike Evans. We're going to smart route that route so it goes really shallow. Got that nice post route. And then kind of see here. And we're going to throw another interception, another bad read by me. I, I knew it was a pick when I threw it. I should have just stepped up into the pocket. I didn't think... I don't know what I was thinking there. There's just another bad read. And offensively, we're just not looking great. We're not looking great right now. We're probably, I think we're tap dancing a little bit in the pocket, a little bit too nervous about his roster. We've got to lock in here. We have not played a great game offensively. This is this is not what we typically are able to do offensively. And honestly, it's it, a lot of it is probably on me. Uh, a lot of, I mean, so far, two, two drives, two interceptions. And uh, I think a lot of responsibility has to rest on my shoulders here. So, and he's going to throw it up. He's going to give it right back to us. And my man, Anthony Maddox, gets the pick. That's why that cover four show two is so powerful, so effective. When you don't have a good team, I think match defense is the best way to play. Obviously, there's, you know, we can do all kinds of things. But we're able to get the stop and we're able to get the ball back for our offense. Offense has had every opportunity to be successful. The offense has to go be successful. Has to go be successful right here. So we're going to go to PA boot over. Honestly, just to try to kind of change it up a little bit here. We're going to see how he does with this. Um... I'm going to go ahead and smart route Mike Evans' route, motion him out a little bit, give me some spacing here, and just see how we can do. And good defense by him. Did good job usering on that crossing route. And he is doing some interesting stuff defensively. Uh, it's, it's very interesting, a little bit more of a match defense style. See if we can get that square receiver open here. Uh, and he got snagged, just got super shedded. Mr. Burns, I don't know how this guy has that great of ratings, but he apparently is the best pass rusher that nobody knows about. Brian Burns absolutely coming after me there, and we need a dot. We need a dot right here. This is a critical down, and we caught him. The play action, he didn't pass commit, and we're able to get a touchdown to Keenan Allen. That's part of why that bunch tight end in combination with the bunch in combination with the trips tight end offset the three headed attack of those three formations in my opinion is super super effective in this game and so you part of what this ebook does is it masters those three big rocks uh, we actually just put a one and a half hour update out about the trips tight end offset scheme and kind of sharing with you guys how to run that and how to master that but anyways uh, as bad as we have played offensively, somehow we are still winning 7-3. Uh, we've probably played about the worst half we possibly could on offense. And we end up just getting out of pocket, able to make a good read, and get on the board. Now, CFM games are a little bit different than mutt games. A little bit different than head-to-head -head games. And the fact that they go by a lot faster. Or not faster, I'm sorry. There's, there's a lot more time. You know, most of the time with CFM, they get a little bit longer games. got six-minute quarters. Um, and so that's really important for me as I navigate this. I have to remember there's there's a lot of football to be played here. You know, we've probably got two. Each of us probably have at least one more possession this half. That's kind of one big thing. And then obviously we still have a 12-minute second half. So, you know, even though we're up by seven, we, we really are trying to shoot to get up by that 14. So defensively here, we're going to kind of keep it simple. Uh, just kind of force our opponents to have to work a little bit. And right there... Um, I don't like what my guys did. One of the things that you have to be strategic about when you run match coverage is you have to watch out sometimes for the quick little flat routes. Um, for whatever reason, it doesn't do a great job at taking care of that. Because my opponent is running um, gun doubles here, I can, because he's running two by two, I can use the seam flat adjustment. And that was actually a really nice little drag route to the tight end, get him on field. Jameis Winston playing some solid football right now for uh, this is actually a really really good drive I mean you got to give it up to him uh, here running a little stretch and 
what we need to do now is you start to see the movement here. You start to see some good stuff happening for the quarterback and the offense of the Rams. We've got to disrupt tempo. Part of defense, defense is so much more than just the formation you run. I mean, it is the formation you run, but it's all about play calling. It's all about chess. It's all about defensive adjustments at the right time. And so like right here, you're going to say, I'm going to go into a little bit of a pressure package. If he tries to run the ball, uh, we should have decent defense. I got to see who's on the tight end. If he runs that tight end drag again, we should be able to take that away, get that nice instant sack, and there you see that's disruption. That's what I'm talking about when I say disruption. Something to disrupt the offense, something to get them out of their normal. If you see someone running under center, force them to deal with a user rush. Force them to deal with user rush. It's very difficult for them to block it, especially out of 335 wide. If you force them to deal with that user rush, then you're gonna kind of keep that in the back of their mind. And then you can show that pretty much at will all game long here. So third and seven in this situation i'm going to go to mike blitz three you know what we're going to do we're going to do a couple of adjustments here but you see here we got that nice little look here good coverage good coverage good coverage a little flutter ball good defense i think that was a delay fade and we're going to put him in a fourth down position. Now, right here, if I was him, I would probably go for this. Um, if you're on my side, you've got to think two or three things. More than likely, we're going to see some type of tight end streak or tight end drag route. I would think the tight end is really the key here um, to whatever he's about to do on this fourth down. I think the tight end is the primary receiver uh, for his offense. And so we're going to try to look to man up that tight end, put his, put his, put his defense in a little bit of trouble here. So actually, we're just gonna honestly sit with this right here. And we're not gonna use a rush. We're just gonna kind of come in here just like this. And then we're gonna back up on back back out onto the tight end. The tight end to me is the key. He does end up blocking him. And we're gonna take that dig route right there. And defense ends up getting another nice stop. Put the pressure on him a little bit. And we're able to get off the field with those seam flats. Now the reason I left the seam flats on the field, didn't put them in cloud flats or anything else. When they are in two by two sets, meaning a doubles type of set where they have two wide receiving threats on the left and two wide receiving threats on the right, kind of a balanced offense, I love to use the seam flats because the seam flats will basically play match coverage onto that and they're able to do a really, really good job. Now, if he is not gonna be committed to stopping the flats, you will see me run flats the rest of the game. Um, I will probably stick in flood for a lot of this game. Right here, I'm gonna run short side bunch just because of his matchups, just because of the way that he is kind of winning his defense. And here we're gonna get Marlon Mack out in the open field, trying to get out of bounds. Honestly, right here, we're really just trying to get three points. Um, it would be great if we got more than three points, but we're really okay with three points on this drive. Uh, and the reason why is just because we're planning to get the ball, come back out and score uh, seven points. You know, so that's kind of our plan. Uh, we're going to check it down right here. Anderson, that's probably one of my favorite routes that I don't see very many people running out of the gun bunch. It's a very nice little return route, little dig route that really does a good job of working the underneath um, in the right situations. Now, we're in first and 10, ball on the 31-yard line. We're going to shift into this Jets dig formation here, or this Jets, that Jets dig passing concept. And honestly, just try to see what can happen here. Looks like we do have that nice corner route. I think he was trying to take away those hard flats. Playing a little hard flat underneath, caught him over the top. And now that's going to put us inside the 10-yard line. Now, we cannot throw an interception here. It is so important that we score on this drive because we get ball coming out of half. It's going to be a great opportunity for us to be able to separate ourselves. So we need to be conscious and aware of the style of defense that my opponent is playing. The way that he wants to play Madden right now is he wants to play a specific style. So for me, it is really, really important to use a slant route. Really, really, really important to use this little wheel route to the back. Um and just see kind of what we can do here against this coverage. The low ball, I had the slant, but he ends up getting the sack there. Honestly, it's not a, I mean, it's a, it's not the greatest thing, but it is, it is what it is. So we're gonna go into this Jets dig once again, kind of the same concept that we ran a second ago, but we're gonna run this with a two streaks uh, up the seam, really trying to kind of stretch him a little bit vertically uh, here and just kind of see what he does. He ends up, getting another instant shed with Brian Burns. Great job by my opponent. I guess he is literally just sending four and praying at this point. Um, absolutely ridiculous in my opinion, but we should have double teamed. 
and we need to get a we need to be a little bit more effective with our blocking we have a touchdown and unfortunately you know because of the way my opponent is playing defense he's able to get it now what i'm actually going to do on this play here i don't know what he's going to do but honestly if he's smart he'll set his zone drops i don't know if he's going to do that or not though so on this play right here, I'm gonna go to the verticals concept. Again, I'm okay with three. I'm okay with three. It's not the end of the world if I have to take three. Um, it would be very detrimental to my my game plan here if I cannot take three though. So I'm not throwing a pick. I can guarantee you right now, I will not throw a pick. But what I'm gonna do here, you're gonna see I'm gonna do a little crossing route, a little streak. Um, I'm gonna take my back out of the backfield, put him on a little angle route. And then what we're gonna do here with our um, our circle receiver Anderson is we're gonna put him on a little bit of a smoke screen just as a kind of a safety valve. Now you see that he's moved his pass rushers inside. We're gonna double team that pass rusher on that right there just for this situation. And, and we're gonna have a touchdown. That's what exactly I was looking for again. Runs that same Tampa two. This time we're able to hit him over the top for a one play touchdown, huge, huge dot in this game. And hopefully what we can do is come out of half, go down to score seven. It would absolutely change everything for us uh, so far this game. He's made a couple good plays on defense, uh, but if we get our pass protection set, I think we can dot this up. Now defensively here, this is a big drive. We need to be able to uh, slow him down, at least to the point at holding him to three. If he gets three, it's gonna be six to 14. We're gonna be up by eight. If he doesn't get three on this drive, it's absolutely huge. We're going to have up 11 with the ball come out and try to go up 18. Three possession lead in the second half is very powerful. It's not as powerful in a CFM because there's a lot more time, but it is powerful enough. And so we need to lock in and try to get a stop here. It's a lot more powerful to go up by 18 than to potentially only be able to go up by 15. We're talking about a whole entire possession um, is at stake with this drive here. So. On this drive here again, we're gonna go seam flats. Got some adjustments going for my opponent. He's got Jameis Winston. I've got this got this slot receiver that now I need to get this off the slot because we're gonna have two, and that's exactly why. Um, I should I shouldn't have done that. That that was poor defensive strategy by me right there. What I should have done, I should have threw a hard flat out there for that situation. Uh, I did not do that, and that actually came back to bite me uh, big time. Now, we're not going to make that mistake a second of time here. You got to see, I've got the seam flats, and then I've got the running back. Basically, the running back should be taken care of uh, with this little hard flat out here, a little quick area. Uh, we should be able to take that away. Everything should be matched up here with this um, little shake route. We've got the purple zone over there. Colbert just not, honestly, Jameis Winston kind of saved him by throwing the ball over his head. Had he not thrown it over his head, we would have been able to pick that off easily for a uh, touchdown. All right. So gun doubles HB week for my opponent. And looking like the same strategy here. Got that three wreck out there. We're gonna put that hard flat out there just to try to get off the field. We do have two timeouts. If we can get down and go score seven, um, this would also be a really good, really, really good opportunity here. He's got that slant. We're gonna stick on the slant. Honestly, I feel like that's a terrible call. They're gonna call me for illegal contact. Um, I just don't feel like that. I mean, I'm taking seven points off the board. We played really good defense. Man, that's a tough penalty. It's gonna end up turning into a first down for him. And mm, so 25 seconds remaining man that's a, that's a huge that's a huge penalty that's a huge penalty because not only does he get a first down not only does it take seven points off the board but now he's going to get a first down and he's going to have an opportunity uh to go down and still score Opp still has that opportunity to get down get three points again remember three points would be a huge deal uh, in this right here, a little shake route there. We're gonna take that away. We got that route away, and Jameis Winston might hit us over the top, almost throws a dot, and uh, I should have saw that skinny post with my user. Ended up clicking off. He's running about 15 different post routes on one play. So good job by my opponent there. And honestly, man, that's, that's just a huge penalty. That's a huge, huge, huge penalty. Uh, and he almost hit me right over the top for a touchdown, so. 
We gotta be a little bit more careful here. Uh, more than likely what we're gonna do on this next play, and as you see here, we're, we're gonna shift, we're gonna try to catch him here a little bit um, and just kinda see what happens. We're gonna try to rush him right up the middle here. Uh, we haven't sent pressure very much. We're gonna try to just disrupt again. Uh, there, I gotta get back, 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 and the man coverage does its job. And right there, that could have been bad because he did block crib. Sometimes when they block crib, they can get a skinny post over the top of that, and that's why I was saying I need to get back on that skinny post. You gotta know your responsibility as a user. When everyone covers zero, that deep middle of the field area is super, super tender, and that's something that I've gotta be prepared for and ready to defend. Now, uh, third and 10, ball is on the 33 yard line. We've got about uh, 11 seconds left. Now this position right here, it's basically he needs to be able to go down and get a touchdown. So what we're gonna try to, or not touchdown, but uh, a field goal. So we're gonna go and shift into a couple, kind of a double purple style, cover one. Uh, we did, he did burn us over the top on that left side. So good deep, good job by him. And that's gonna bring him a fourth down and 10. So I think we're going to get off the field here. Jameis Winston's kind of killing him, honestly. Um, he just doesn't have the arm, doesn't have the gunslinger. And that's a huge difference. You know, I mean, he obviously uh, sp spent his top picks on his defensive line. At least that's what it seems like to me, is that his, his priority was his defensive line. Um, and so it's coming back to bite him that he didn't get a quarterback. I mean, and, you know, maybe he didn't have the opportunity to, or maybe he didn't. He chose defensive line. But in my opinion, not having that gunslinger is so, so important. Uh, I've played with and without gunslinger, and I'll tell you what, it is a huge, huge difference, um, especially with the way they've coded the game this year. So Mahomes needs to come out and do his job. Obviously, we've thrown two picks, but most of that's been on me. But we get exactly what we wanted. At the end of the day, we're up 11 with ball coming out of half here and we're gonna have the opportunity to go down score seven points and get up on him 18 to 3 that's that's the goal here on this drive so anyways we're gonna get up here do a little double juke and this is this is a critical drive this is we need a methodical drive that's what we need we don't need you know we don't need a one play touchdown drive we need a methodical drive. We need to take some clock off. Even if we go down here and we just get three and it's 17 to three, that still makes it a, it secures it as a two possession lead. Ideally, we get seven here. Three is okay, uh, but ideally we're going to get seven here. So we're going to go to RPO trap or bubble. Now I do know enough about the nickel normal to know that depending on how he structures his defense, he can stop this run. That spreading the line is not going to be the move. But if he, if he were to pinch them and he were to use her over the middle, he would have a decent opportunity to be able to stop that run. So I have to kind of watch, see what he does with his defensive adjustments whenever I auto into certain formations. But that gives us a first and 10. And again, honestly, we're gonna try to take some clock here. We're gonna move you know, a little bit slower, um, You know, just kind of feel it out a little bit here. I am gonna throw the ball a little bit still. I'm not just gonna run the ball. I am gonna throw the ball a little bit. But like right here, you're gonna see, I'm gonna go with a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit, just a little bit more check down, a little bit more, you know, spacing concepts against this zone coverage. If he doesn't take the flats away, we're gonna take, we're gonna be just fine taking two yards. We're gonna be just fine taking two yards. We're just trying to, you know, kind of work the ball a little bit, kind of take some clock. Because again, in a CFM, you do have a 40 second play clock. You can take a little bit more clock. Unfortunately, the games are a little bit longer, so it doesn't, it kind of evens out a little bit. But, you know, that put me in a second down situation here. Uh, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, Jets Dig. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna use a C route. Not a lot of people know about this, but especially if you're in a situation where you have Hot Route Master, you can use this um, this C route. It turns it into kind of pat sail, basically. A little motion out C route, I think super, super effective. Uh, and of course, as soon as I say that, I throw the pick. And I think it might even be a pick six. Let's see if we can get the tackle. Man, that's huge. That's such a big turnover. My, my receiver got caught up on his defender, and honestly, it was just a, it still was a bad, uh, it wasn't even a bad read. My receiver just cut a little too quick, and it ended up coming back to bite me. So, offense is, read-wise, read we've not done a good job. The routes have been there, we just haven't done a good job of reading the defense. Um, and whenever you're running an offense, you have to understand and decide, is it the offensive plays, or is it the quarterback calling the plays, right? Sometimes it's a little bit of both. You have to know when it's on you and when it's on your routes. Do you have the routes that you need? 
if you believe that you do, then you have to master your reads. Absolutely have to master your reads. And right now, um, that has been the biggest issue this game offensively for me. And here my opponent is with some good opportunity to be able to go down, get himself back in this ball game. Again, there's a lot of there's a lot of time left uh, for him to be able to get back in this ball game. So I've got to do a good job locking in, focusing in, taking what the defense gives me the next offensive drive. I need a big like he, he's probably going to be able to get three points here. He's probably going to be able to get three points here, and that's going to put him right back smack dab in the middle of this ball game. And, you know, as long as as long as he doesn't do anything crazy and I get a pick or something, he's going to be in a good position. So we got to watch out here. Oh, one trap. I think he's going to be able to score touchdown Rams and absolutely uh, tough run right there. Oh, one trap. I felt like I had the opportunity to shoot it. Wasn't able to get in there. And as you can see, he's going up 14 to nine. Now, one of my favorite defenses in the red zone is the cover four show two with the shade coverage down. I think the shade coverage down does a really, really good job. So I've got to, I've got to lock in though. I've got to get this, um, you know, when I get the ball back, I need to go down and score. Obviously I need to get a stop right here, but I definitely need to go down and I need to score. And I need to score six in my opinion. Um, so anyways, right here, we're going heavy, heavy underneath coverage. A uh, little QB power. Man, that's tough. Good run by my opponent. And he is right back in the middle of this game. And I have nobody to blame but myself. And so this is a big drive for me. I need to get down. I need to get out there. I need to go score. And I need to stop throwing the ball to the other team, to be quite honest. I, I've got to lock in. I have missed so many open receivers. And I've just killed myself. Three interceptions and nobody to blame but yourself right there. Uh, defense has done fine. Can't be mad at the defense this game. It's... 100% on the offense, which is where we invested a lot of our resources so we could be able to go out and score points, and we're just not executing. We're not doing a good job, and we've got to we've got to play better. So, anyways, right off the bat, right on cue, Keenan Allen catches a laser from Mahomes, and we're going to try to move a little bit quicker here. We just need a drive. You know, take all the clock management stuff out of the window. We have got to lock in and get a drive. That's what we need at this moment. Uh, with the three interceptions, you know, the, the game dynamics completely shifted. Um, now he's only now he's not down by too much. Now he's 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 not losing by too much. So we need to do a better job. We need to you know move and work this ball up and down the field a little bit more uh, methodically. And as you see right on cue here, he's shifting uh, into the two four five uh, double a gap. And there, Mahomes is going to hit a laser to Keenan Allen. And we're going to work the ball up and down the field a little bit here. So, um, let's see here. First and 10 for my opponent, or for me. And honestly, when I see 2-4-5 double A-gap, I, I want to be able to move into this right here, this trick side and offside. I think it's a very different run to stop. We'll see if he's able to stop it here. I think 2-4-5 doesn't always do a very good job against that specific run. So, we're going to be able to kind of have that a little bit. But we'll see here. Now, first down and 10 ball on the 35 yard line you know three points doesn't really do much for us i mean it does extend it to a touchdown quote unquote lead but it doesn't get us to the point where we're you know able to you know pretty much guarantee points now we know that my opponent is likely to be sending some pressure on this play so we're actually going to shift into the mesh we're going to go a little bit max protect i think he's going to probably play some some good underneath coverage and mahomes is going to throw a laser on the sideline and get a nice dot in there for you know, a pretty good gain right there so first and goal from the three and we're going to just try to pound this in we want to have the threat of throwing um, we we're going to show some mesh post basically we're going to use the same kind of motion strategy that we had out of the mesh post um, so two four five double a gap and we're just going to use this motion to keenan allen Kind of try to get this just trying to get a touchdown right here red sea just parted for us able to go in and score that's a big touchdown honestly that's a big touchdown we needed that drive uh we had not been playing very good offensively we're able to go down we're able to score now he's got about seven minutes so he's got plenty of time in this ball game um he's got about seven and a half minutes left in this ball game for it to go so we have got to do a good job of locking up and just kind of closing this game a little bit defensively, uh, which is a, you know, which our defense is very equipped to do that. So 
Um, excited for the opportunity now to be able to get out here and play. The nickel 335, good come out in that cover four drop like normal. And then we are going to try to, it looks like my opponent is going to go to another two by two set. Um, and a little route, little quick route there to back. And good read, honestly. I got a little caught there. I think you went to the drive concept. We'll see what happens here. So again, we're just going to kind of sit in quarters and see. Uh, try to find his threat. I think 15 is kind of his go-to receiver. So we'll see what we have here. See if there's a skinny post potential. Marquise Brown over the top almost got me again. And I think we just have got to do a better job of not missing the bump, not missing the press animation. But that's, I mean, I'm sure he's, I'm sure that he is very frustrated um, about that. All right, so nickel 335 again. Honestly, what we've got to be careful about is that jam of the receivers in the in the press coverage. And so because he's coming out in so much two by two, um, it does actually benefit us quite a bit because we can basically do something like this right here. Uh, you know, now, and I'm going to cross man against Brown here. Now he goes into three by one. Now him shifting into three by one is actually really good by him. Because now, even though I've shaded coverage up, they're not going to match like I want them to because it's now a three by one set. And he hits kind of a guard, honestly, kind of a broken play a little bit. Get a little frustrated with that one. Didn't, I feel like that's, I mean, then that's that three by one. You know, the seam flats don't match if they're in trips. And so, good job by my opponent to be able to hit that read. So, anyways, um, now it looks like uh, he's going to be coming out in gun tray flex. And we're just going to try to, this is the trips, so basically this is trips tight end uh, with the running back on the left side here. So I've got to watch for the crosser. I'm going to go get it. He's going to dump it off down to the back. Good read by my opponent. And we're keeping him in front of us. We're making him work a little bit, so you got to be happy with that. But he is moving on us. And he is now in scoring range. He doesn't have to get seven here either. He just needs a field goal to be able to put himself in a decent position. Uh, to be able to take care of this and take this game home. So we, we've got to do a good job. We've got to be focused on that cover four show too, kind of the adjustments we need to make. I think we're going to be able to take this all the way down to the fourth quarter. And again, it's, it's just going to come back to we've got to continue to make him work a little bit. Uh, these broken plays, these slants, these crossing routes, you know, we, we're okay giving that kind of stuff up, honestly. Now here he did some roster manipulation. He ended up getting his uh, wide receiver in the in the slot over there. So we'll see here. Second and two, six minute quarters. Six minutes left to go in the ball game. Put your fours up in the chat, and we'll see what we can do. Ball on the thirty-seven. I'll be interested to see what he does. Be interested to see if he sticks with that Trey Wyatt flex formation. If he goes to the trip side end, what's, he, what's his plan here? But gun Trey flex week looks like. And uh, kind of that same deal. So we're going to kind of plan. I don't think he'll run here. We do get that man coverage. Running back is open. And I don't know what happened, but dang, he got over it again. Touchdown Rams. And honestly, I don't understand what happened. I thought we had it. Thought we had that cross manned up. I think Brown just met, beat the man coverage over the top of that. That's a huge touchdown by my opponent. Honestly, it's it's kind of expected. Honestly, kind of expected that route. Thought we had it stopped, and now my opponent is only down by three points. He needs one stop. Literally, he needs one stop. Offense has got to stop throwing the ball to the other team, and defense cannot give up the easy stuff. We've given up the easy stuff way too much this game. One, you know, a, a touchdown on an 0-1 trap and a touchdown on a crossing route. We should have known both of those were coming. Um, can't give up the obvious stuff. Can't give up the obvious stuff for sure. But anyways, we're going to get the ball to the 25-yard line, and the offense has an opportunity to be able to go down and close this game. This is your four-minute offense. This is a drive. This is where you want to literally boil you. You want to get the clock down. You want to make sure that you don't give him this ball back with more than two minutes on the clock. We've got to take at least three minutes off the clock here. And ideally, 
we're able to go down and score. That's that's really the goal of this drive, trying to kind of work a little bit here, force his defense to have to adjust a little bit. Um, that's what we're trying to accomplish here. So it's going to be a Marlon Mack type of drive um, right off the rip, a couple yards quick. And uh, we're going to go back to, the, back to the huddle, hopefully do that again. See what he does with his auto flip. I think he's got auto flip off, so he's been running that slot corner on the weak side here. It's actually really good for the trips tied in because you can actually, you know, pop some bubble screens, kind of work with the alignment a little bit here. So we're actually going to move into this formation right here. And honestly, I'm probably going to try to hit Mike Evans on this little quick screen. I don't think his alignment is uh, prepared to stop this. If we if they jump out at it, we'll go to the the back here. But we're really looking here, and they don't go out to it. And we're able to hit that bubble screen, get up, and just take a couple yards, get down, good read, and uh, keep the chains moving a little bit. It's going to be that RPO trap, and you're going to see that, and that's one of our bread and butter plays. It's one of the reasons why the New York Jets playbook is so powerful is not only do you have the good bunch, but you have a nice bunch tight end. You got a really nice little five wide formation, and you also have this trips tight end offset for these situations. Now, right here, as you can notice here, his slot corner is over there. So I have to be a little bit cautious uh, and just a little bit more aware of what's going on here. So more than likely not going to throw the screen on this play, probably going to check it down to the halfback, but we are going to at least peek at it and see. And he does jump out there. That's fine. We're going to take the running back and get up and get some really good yards there from Marlon Mack. And uh, really good run play by him. And honestly, offense is doing exactly what it needs to do right here. Um, it's just it's just simple. It's simplifying the game a little bit. It's a numbers game. If he doesn't jump out of square, we can take the bubble screen. We've got a really good look at that to be able to do this against this defense. You know, do some maybe some fake hot routes, maybe some motions. But really, all we're doing is this is a read on the defensive end. If the defensive end crashes down, we're throwing the bubble. If he doesn't, then we're gonna. You see here, he crashes down. Okay, he actually did a good job. Little match up there, and um, was able to stop us. Now on this play, this is second and ten. This is where I like to go to a bunch of tight end in this situation. A lot of people will be expecting PA cross. More than likely, you're on this play right here. You're going to see an inside zone. We're going to double team down. And we're just going to try to basically just kind of continue to work a little bit here. Uh, just see if he can stop this. See what he's thinking. See how he, you know, just defensively, uh, you know, just kind of see what we can do. Now, again, we, we, we're going to motion the circle receiver across as if we were maybe running like PA blue over. Uh, but we're able to just simply run inside zone, get up field, actually get a really nice little gain there and puts us in a good position. This this puts us in a great position to be able to score and um, to be able just to work the ball up and down the field. Now, right here, we're going to play a little chess. We're going to go with that PA boot over. Um, we're going to be double teaming on the outside here. We've got an isolated matchup on the left side here uh, and doing maybe a little quick snap. And we're going to check that down to Anderson. And we've got about two minutes left. All right, so second and five. Second and five, two minutes left in this ball game. And we're gonna go back to that trips tight end. We're gonna go back to that RPO trap alert bubble. And we are certainly watching that slot corner. If that slot corner does not jump out, uh, we will take that bubble screen. He does jump out again. Good defense by my opponent. We're able just to kind of slip right through there and get a first down. This is gonna bring up a first down. This has been a, kind of a picture perfect drive. This, is, this has been a great way to close a game out. Um, again, there's a lot of opportunities, a lot of things here, but the way, with the way that my opponent is playing defense, I actually love what we're doing here. So right here, we're gonna to go to a crossing route and we're gonna honestly go to a little bit of a check down uh, concept here, a little post route. But we're kind of gonna to try to take the top off the defense. If he is in this cover two, we are going to take this. We are going to roll out as well. And right there, honestly, probably a bad decision. We end up fumbling the ball. We got very fortunate to recover. Pretty bad decision by me. Pretty bad decision by me. I, I saw the edge rush. I thought I could cut it up and just get up there and get a couple yards and slide down with my quarterback. 
was not able to do so and honestly almost caused myself a really really gave my opponent an opportunity so right here gonna go back to the uh, HB base run here with that flat little cut back from Mac able to get up field put ourselves in a good position now for this third and two uh, we know this third and two is gonna be tricky we know we need to convert this so you're gonna see kind of two different options here we're gonna go to bunch tight end first see what the inside zone looks like if the inside zone's not available then we will probably be shifting to that trip tight end offset but honestly this is three four i really like this look uh for that inside zone so we are going to go inside zone here and you know what he's going to do a good job stopping it he's going to put himself in a position that he can get this ball back now really quickly here this is this is my personality might not be yours but i like to at least look at it I like to at least look at it, see what's happening, and see if I can maybe get this. He has not stopped the RPO trap the entire game. So what you're going to see right here is I'm going to come out, I'm going to flip the bunch, and then I'm going to audible to trip side in offset. So I'm going to try to catch him here, over adjusting a little bit. Um, you see here goes to bunch, you know, kind of do this, that, the other thing, and then go right into this trip side in offset. I know already what I'm doing here. And as you can see, he looks like definitely man-to-man -man coverage. Going to be blitzing everybody. We're going to go ahead and run it, and we get that first down and get out of here with the victory. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the CFM. If you want to see more CFM content, let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot for coming by the, sh the video. And if you want either my offense or my defense that I ran in this game, it's complete. All everything is linked in the description. You get the offense for 15 bucks. You can get the defense for 15 bucks. Um, it's all in there for you. So thanks for watching, and have a great day guys.